よっしゃー Yo, this is Club. I'm finally making another Dragon Ball Legends facts episode. This is going to be about Ultra Rarity Super Saiyan Goku. There's so much things about him, so he's getting a facts episode just about him and Ultra Rarity. Now, I was making another facts episode about stuff that was added into the game recently, but then I said, screw that, I'll do that another time. I only want to talk about Ultra Super Saiyan Goku this time. This free to play unit is so crazy. Just to think how he's free to play. And he has all of these unique animations. It's just crazy, you know? So, well done to Dragon Ball Legends. But yeah, it is hard to get him with, you know, the challenges and the rare medals. Oh, God. But anyway, let's get started with Ultra Rarity Super Saiyan Goku facts. Ultra Super Saiyan Goku was the first character to have Ultra Rarity, while the other characters are Legends Limited Sparking, Sparking, Extreme, or Hero. Ultra Super Saiyan Goku was the first character who had an animation play before you view the character artwork, and it also has an animation of the character's artwork instead of an image that doesn't move or change. If Ultra Super Saiyan Goku is the first character in your team, you'll see the artwork and the animation on your menu instead of just an image of the character with no background. It pretty much creates a wallpaper and it looks so nice. Ultra Super Saiyan Goku is the only character in the game who has a unique intro before the fight starts if you use him first. But this intro actually doesn't play during an ultimate showdown. Ultra Super Saiyan Goku was the first Goku to shoot Ki Blast with one hand, every other Goku shoots Ki Blast with two hands. Ultra Super Saiyan Goku charges Ki differently to all of the other characters in the game. Ultra Super Saiyan Goku has a different Doka Baki impact to every other character in the game, the clash and the ending of it. Damn, look at that speed! Ultra Super Saiyan Goku even has different taps compared to every other character in the game. Oh my god, it just looks so cool, especially with the blue effect and how he kicks in it as well. It just looks so rapid. It, it's so awesome. This was the first Super Saiyan Goku who would start the match with their blue undershirt without the orange gi top. This is not including green Super Saiyan Goku since he gets battle damaged while fighting and then he gets the blue undershirt because, you know, the orange gi top gets destroyed. And this does not include Legends Limited Super Saiyan 3 Goku because in his ultimate skill he takes his orange gi top off and he turns Super Saiyan. I'm just saying from the start of the battle. And of course not including red Super Saiyan Goku because his blue undershirt is almost ripped off. Ultra Super Saiyan Goku's hair is different to every other Super Saiyan Goku's hair in Dragon Ball Legends. Besides Zenkai characters, Goku was the first character to have a second Z ability, which is known as Ultra Ability. Look at that color, that looks so nice. Hero have blue Z power, Extreme have purple Z power, and Sparkings have orange Z power, but Ultra Super Saiyan Goku Z power has all three of those colors in one, blue, purple, and orange. Multi Z power is usually purple, green, or even gold, but Ultra Super Saiyan Goku's Multi Z Power was the first one to be black and to have his Z Power in the middle of the Multi Z Power. The icon for Hero, Extreme, and Sparking don't glow or shine, but Ultra Rarity it does. Ultra Super Saiyan Goku was the first free to play character we had to get all of their souls by rare medals. Alright, that's going to be the end of this facts episode. I know it wasn't that long, but it's just about one character and one rarity. Just he's so interesting right now that I wanted to make a facts episode about him. And just I just wanted to show you how different he is compared to other characters in terms of animation and skills. Alright, I am going to end it here. Thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.